Hey guys, Czar here. Hope all is well. Trust you're having a good day. We've had one trade this morning. It lasted over two hours, just under two hours actually, by about three or four minutes. And that was right out of the gate, at about 9.36, 9.37, something like that. And now we're, uh, we've, we're, we've come out, or we're coming out of the twilight zone. It's 1.19 p.m. and uh, 1.18 actually. So 18 minutes outside of the, to me, the back end of the twilight zone at lunch hour. I'm watching here for a potential reversal style move. We'll see if that happens uh, when this candle closes at 1.30. And then we see if we get a break either way. I just wanted to set the stage. This is the Dow, by the way, guys. Let me take a take you out here to the, the zone charts. I've now bracketed the twilight zone. You see that there? This is the lunch hour. This is the... Um, 11.30 candle, there's the 12 noon, right? These are 30 minute candles. And now there's the, the one that closes at one. Here's the one that opens at one. So the top and the bottom of the twilight zone, that's the Dow. Here's the S&P, did something similar there. Often we get the sideways grinding action. This is actually a little bit more movement than we typically get or we often get. That's the S&P and now here's the NASDAQ and something very similar. This is what we typically see during the twilight zone. That's the 11.30, 12, 12.30 candle right there. Okay, so we're watching this. This thing looks like it may even want to break to the upside. And if that happens, if there's a divergent move, I may not take a reversal style. I may look for a continuation move here. We'll see. I just want to set the stage and I'll put you on pause now. We'll come back and see how this develops. I'll be cutting out dead air, sideways grinding action, non-teaching moments. Keep this video nice and tight, of course. Talk to you in a bit. All right, guys, we're back and a new candle has just begun. See, I'm just drawing some ideas up here with the uh, trade markers as most of you know that's what i do i'll stick on a marker and then measure things out and see how it looks and feels targets will be down here for the extreme 2r target zone reversal i'm not sold on this idea yet i want to see what's going on let me show you the three sisters not doing much not really cooperating a hell of a lot here Still above VWAP, of course, on all three of them. And that's not really the issue, but above EMAs and not breaking pivots on the NASDAQ or on the S&P, but threatening to potentially. I'm just, yeah, I, I'm familiar with this configuration, and uh, this is what we sometimes will see before a break. So let's keep an eye on this together. I'll put you on pause again, guys, bring you back, and we'll just stay on top of this. Looking for that second trade here. Be right back. And I'm in, guys. Triggered in right there. Short the Dow. Looked away for one moment. Got my alert. And there it is. All right, guys. I'll uh, put you on pause. I'll set up my markers. We'll come back and talk about this trade a little bit. But this is a zone reversal trade. Here we go. And target one has been hit. So the 1R all or nothing trader has left the game with full profitability. And the 2R move stop to break even at 1R has now moved their stop to break even because we hit 1R. So they will either get a 2R or they'll get a break even and nothing in between. And now the 1.5R, the 2R all or nothing traders are going to sit here and wait to see what happens if we can get there. But the primary target of 1R has been hit. This is a zone reversal trade, guys. Fairly typical. We bracketed, if you remember, the uh, twilight zone, which is in through here, this whole period, as you can see uh, from up here. This is the 11, uh, 1230 candle, pardon me, 1130 candle there, 1130 candle here, 12, 1230, one, and then coming out and breaking down below. Does it always happen? No, it happens uh, often enough, though, after a surge move like this. And what I typically look for is a breakdown on all three sisters, which is in fact what we got. My entry was here. Look at my cursor on the other, uh, sorry, entry was here. Look at the cursor on the other two sisters. So this is the Dow, right? Entering here, we had a simultaneous break of structure there, and we had the simultaneous break of structure here on the NASDAQ. NASDAQ, S&P, and Dow all telling us the same story at the same time after the twilight zone morning run-up reversal in the afternoon we'll see if we can get beyond our primary target of 1r which has been met i'll put you back on pause i'll bring you back and target two has been hit and so the one and a half hour all or nothing trader has left the game with full profitability 
and uh, we are waiting for the final target to be hit. This is a textbook zone reversal trade, guys, coming into the uh, twilight zone, breaking below after a wick up and uh, heading straight south here. Let's see if we can stay here live and get the final target hit as well. This is the Dow. See if we can do this together. And done, guys. All four models were fully profitable. The 1R, then we came back to break even, and all three targets have been hit. Thanks for being here, guys. Two uh, trades today, two profitable trades. 4R for the day, which is nice. And uh, been very, very patient here. And uh, likely won't trade again this afternoon. It's 2.35. This, we've had a couple of clean moves here. First trade took over or about two hours. This one uh, a little bit less, but... Uh, it's been a full day of just two trades. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for clicking the like button, and thanks for saying hi in the comments. I do appreciate you. Have an amazing afternoon. We'll talk soon.